Uh, we have these clear skies with a couple of clouds mixed in overhead and just looking off the cameras today since it's since it's such a beautiful day. I keep the camera up so I can look outside. Uh, there are some people who still have the jet skis, still have the boats out and are enjoying this gorgeous weather. You can see a couple of them uh, right at the confluence of the three rivers there. Uh, right before the west end on the left side of your screen, we have 77 degrees in Pittsburgh right now. The humidity is low. It's very comfortable, but a little on the warm side. Typically, we'd be in the lower to mid 70s this time of year. So uh, comfortably warm day here with some clouds and chillier temperatures out towards the ridges and even Indiana where we mix in some of those clouds and have 72 degrees. But over the next few days, we are going to see our temperatures step down to about average, and that's where we're going to spend the weekend and start of next week. But by the middle of next week, it looks like those temperatures might start to fall off a little bit, and it's fitting because fall officially begins Saturday morning at 2.50 a.m. So just before 3 a.m., we click over to the brand new season and the temperatures are going to sort of fall in line. We have had a lot of sunshine here, some clouds off to the east, but as I've been mentioning, we're watching this system down off of the coast of uh, Florida and Georgia. This is a potential tropical cyclone 16 and it's likely going to become tropical storm Ophelia and you can see how it pushes up towards North Carolina and then travels northward and some of those showers try to push back towards Pittsburgh. We have high pressure that's going to try to hold it off, but I think some of those showers might try to make it back towards the city. So we can't say this weekend's going to be completely dry, especially east of town and you can see how some of those showers push back towards us, especially Saturday night into early Sunday. So we do have to watch for some weekend showers trying to develop, but as I mentioned it does not look like it's going to be a washout, but we are going to see a push of some of those showers Saturday afternoon into especially early Sunday before these showers start to dissipate with this system as it departs up to the northeast. So this weekend, yes, we're going to see a few showers, but it's not looking like a washout at this point. More rain chances Tuesday, Wednesday and into Thursday of next week. But this weekend again, lower 70s both days. So right in that uh, comfortable fall type feel of a forecast, better chance of rain Saturday afternoon into the wee morning hours of Sunday. Now tonight it's 53 degrees, mostly clear skies, patchy fog, not out of the question tomorrow. Just as nice as today, we're going to get our temperatures back into the mid 70s. I think it's going to be quite comfortable all the way through and it comes with bright sunshine attached. Clouds move in for Saturday with that system and we could see a few showers with that again into Sunday. I think a break in that on Monday and then we're going to start to see things break down a little bit and a better chance for some rain Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday and again some early showers on Thursday. I don't think these days are going to be complete washouts either, but you can see how our temperatures step down, especially Wednesday and Thursday.